The sun is 93 million miles from the earth. But if the earth was just a few million miles closer to the sun, glaciers would melt, the sea level would rise and flood most of our coastal cities, solar radiation would evaporate high levels of carbon dioxide from the sea and trigger a drastic heating effect on the earth. This universe is built to very fine tolerances. Which is why the Torah too is built to very fine tolerances. When all the letters in the tefillin are written correctly, wearing them connects us to the source of all. With one letter incorrectly formed, we're wearing nothing more than funny looking black boxes. Turn on the light two minutes before Shabbat and we've lit up the room. Turn it on two minutes and one second later, and we've just plunged the world and ourselves into an invisible spiritual darkness. The Torah is as precise as a scientific formula, and yet it leaves room for each one of us to express our own unique personas, our own relationship with God. We can learn this idea from the mitzvah of tzitzit, the fringes we wear on a four-cornered garment. The tzitzis are a paradigm of the whole Torah. Part of the tzitzit are tied, part are untied. Part of the Torah is immovable as any law of physics, gravity, thermodynamics, calculus, and part of the Torah is untied. The Torah wants us to use all our individuality to serve the Creator. Now, if you look at the tzitzit, you'll notice that the correct proportion of the tied part to the untied part is one-third to two-thirds, meaning the majority of this world consists of the loose ends of creation that each one of us is invited to tie in our own unique way.